the difference between simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum at 6% for 2 years is 54. Find the principal. So I'll presume, let, uh, or let us assume, let principal, principal, let us write by capital letter P, is equal to $1,000. Okay. And uh, what they're saying is the difference between simple interest and compound interest is 54. So compound interest is always going to be greater than simple interest. Uh, so compound interest minus simple interest is 54. Okay, your rate is 6%, which is 6 over 100. Okay, or your N, which is number of years is 2. Okay, so for simple interest, for simple interest will be 1000 times your rate 6% which is 6 over 100 now this is you can do this without uh, this process you can do this in your head 6% means for hundred dollars you get six dollars after one year so for 1000 you get 1000 is how many times of 10 uh, 1000 is how many times of 100 10 times so for this is the interest of one year which is sixty dollars and that you get sixty dollars every year for so after two years you get one twenty dollars as interest now for compound interest I'll explain this in two ways after one year after the first year your principal it'll be one thousand times six over hundred so in the first year you will get sixty dollars as interest for the second year for the second year it will be 1060 times six over hundred because you're getting interest on interest for the second year so this is six times six is 36 so 636 over 10 which is 63.6 so the total compound interest is 60 for the first year plus 63.6 for the second year, which is 123.6 is the compound interest that you get for the second year or for two years. Okay, now if you want to do this in one step, how you do is compound interest would be 1,000 times 1.06 squared this will give you the amount and minus the principal which is 1000 will give you I'll show this on a calculator 123.6 so let us do this on a calculator this is 1000 times 1.06 1 stands for when you're increasing by 6%, so the factor is 1.06 squared, and takes away 1,000, which is 123.6. This is how you do directly. So here, this gives you the amount. So this is your, this is the amount, and this is the principal. Okay, so amount minus principal is compound interest. Okay, so what's the difference? So the difference is 123.6 minus 120, which is $3.60 is the difference in difference between the compound interest and simple interest. So let us use now proportion to find the actual principle. So let us make two columns, difference and principle, P for principle. So when the difference is $3.60, the principle that we had was 1000 so now the difference is 54 what is the principle that is x suppose so now this is nothing but a ratio this is 3.6 over 54 is equal to 1000 over x okay so this is nothing but 336 over 540 is equal to 1000 divided by x so cross multiplying 36 x is 540 times 1000 so dividing both side by 30 if you divide this by 36 it also divide this by 
36. So 36 and 36 gets cancelled. So x is, this is 9 times, 9 times 60 is 540. I'm trying to explain an x, this is 36. Okay, so this is 9 times 4 is 36. Okay, so this 9 and 9 gets cancelled. So x is, the 6 can be written as 4 times, 15 times 1000 over 4. So the 4 gets cancelled. So the principal, principal is nothing but $15,000. So let us check whether our answer is right. Okay, and that's always a good practice to do. Don't always believe your answer, always check. So you start with $15,000, so your pre P is $15,000. Your rate is 6% and number of years is 2. So your simple interest is 15,000 times 6%, which is 6 over 100, this is for one year times it by 2. So 15 times, so this is 15 times 6 is 90. So this is 150 times uh, 12. Okay, so 15 times 12 is 180. So it's $1,800 you get as simple interest. For compound interest, I'll use a calculator. So this is 15,000 times 1.46 squared minus 15,000. So let us use the calculator. 15,000 times 1.06 squared. That's the amount, sorry. Delete. Uh, minus 15,000 will give you 1,854. 1854 and so the difference is 54 so our answer is right